Hey guys, this is DFD, aka Dark Frozen Deaths, back with another video. Now, this one is a little bit different because I'm just talking about some things that kind of have hopefully some future plans on. Some I can definitely do, some I'm looking into, so no guarantees. But some of you may or may not know, my um, channel's getting very close to 2,500 subscribers, and I'm planning on doing something a little bit more special for that. I tend to do that with different milestones. It's been 100, then 250, then 500, then 1,000. And it's kind of like cycling, just adding a zero to each. But, um, basically, it's more just like thank yous for subscribing to the channel. I honestly did not think it even grows as big. Because mainly I've had the YouTube channel for at least eight, nine years. But I didn't really start uploading anything till like the last three or four, I believe. But, um, I've been just posting videos and they just eventually caught wind. And there's some that's grown in amazing numbers. Like, my most viewed video is over half a million views. That is incredible. And I'm still mind blown by that. And then there's another video that's, like, it's behind it, but it's also six digits. It just recently hit over 100,000. So, I'm amazed at that and I honestly cannot thank people enough for actually doing that. I I really didn't think it would grow so much and it may seem like a small number of subscribers compared to some of the bigger channels like like PewDiePie or even Lost Paws. I know he got over seven digits of subscribers. But most YouTube channels don't even hit four digits for a subscriber count, so that alone is already an impressive feat, so it's more or less my way of saying thank you to you guys by doing some of this special stuff. Now, what I'm planning, the one thing I can do, those of you that may know, and you'll see it on the channel banner in a minute, you look at the channel, I've been making the Crisscross Cross Chronicles series. In fact, you're seeing an image of it on screen right now. A friend of mine had drawn this image, and I cannot thank her enough for it. It is amazing. A lot of people who have seen it love it, too. So, again, I really cannot thank her enough for drawing that for me. But, it's of Nerissa, who's one of the three main characters in the game. I'm still working on that game, and I'm going to try to have a bit of a prototype for it as well coming up soon. It's just going to have the, um... It's just going to have one of the new areas that wasn't in the last beta demo. And I'm still planning on making another beta demo. That's definitely happening. But this prototype's just going to have the one area, plus another little surprise as well. That's like augmented from the game. Where it'll be um it'll be a few different things you can do, but at different levels than what they're intended to be in the finished um finished game. And then the game itself is going to be free regardless, so I'm just more or less trying to get more people to like test it out and whatnot because I'm like literally the only one testing it. If anybody feels feels free to like try out what I've done so far with it, then just do so. Give me your feedback. There's been a previous beta demo, and then I'm going to have a, a, um, a prototype of a new area that I've been showing a few, um, not really spoilers, but sneak peeks of. And then there's also a few things that I may not be able to do. It depends on what happens. Now, the most likely thing I can stream from my PlayStation 4, I'm going to possibly try to do that a little bit more it's just that the games i got on there aren't too they were well known there i just don't know how popular they are now one of them won't even record sound because of some little copyright thing with um the people behind it it was um dynasty warriors was kind of sucks but okay so i'd need like a um a capture card to bypass that stuff but uh i could probably s stream some different things off of the PlayStation 4. That's the easiest thing to p pull off. What I really want to do is possibly stream some things off my computer. I have no clue how to set that up or do anything with it. I have tested out a few different things. Didn't get some to work. One of them I did get to work. I was able to stream to my um my Discord. And quite frankly, if I'm doing that, I can go uncensored. Because I could just have it go to un uncensored on the Discord. And just show off all the stuff on there. That's just perfectly doable. So that's more or less what I would prefer to do. If anybody wants an uncensored thing. 
If not, I would have to try to figure out how to work OBS or some of these other streaming things. Twitch is a possibility, too. I can always make that. But Twitch is very restrictive, just like YouTube, so... But I could try to, um... I could try to do any of those streaming methods as well, because I want to do a s subscriber stream, and then on top of that, too, possibly get into streaming a little bit more things, so you'd be able to see how I go through on different games and whatnot. There's just some that I really, really cannot show on YouTube, though, so... Worst case, it would have to be a Discord stream. Problem is, my Discord's gotten a lot less attention lately because, you know, the Kamihime Project stuff, and not too many people's into the game as compared to before. So my my YouTube Discord is there. But more activity actually happens on my Union Discord where they actually have like different games that they all play as well. And plus more people are jumping into the Union I have. It's well, I don't really have all of it. It's a bit of a complicated st story on that one, but I more or less have half of the Union or I should say lead half of it, but it's just how we set up things on there, so there's that. And yeah, also heads up, I am playing Kamihime Project again, but I have no idea if I'm ever going to spend on the game again. The most likely candidate would be a Miracle Ticket, but other than that, no. Because um, the way New Taku Sats handled it, I've already covered in two videos. Watch those if you're curious. But... And no offense to the other servers for it, too. Like, the Japanese server seems like they're doing things decently enough. I don't know the full story behind them, though. I can already tell from Jorin. They've done more than Nutaku. Because I took a quick glimpse of Jorin and found out they have better starting um deals than Nutaku had. You can literally get 100% at Dolan if you decide to pay for it. Like, they literally let you do that. And that's a starter pack. But, um... It depends, but I'm still playing um, Kamihime Project. Some of you may know there's actually a um, Tower of Malice event going on right now. I never do guides for Tower of Malice, but I do try to do videos for them. The reason I never do guides is because there's way too much info to go through on that, and they're going to change the format again pretty soon, so I just don't bother. But if you more or less read the details in the game, you got an idea for that one. I still play AU Senki. I'm going to try to get get into another game. This one you have to download is from Alistoff called Dona Dona. And it's all Japanese. So any English translations is like either fan made or machine translated. I'm going to try and get into that one. But I'm gonna to have to censor the crap out of it because it is still a quote unquote 18 plus game. But I will be trying to upload something on that pretty soon. So it's gonna be Mostly blind because I don't want to run into the bad endings the first time around. Because when you run into a bad ending, you lose a character. I found that out. So, yeah, I want to avoid that. Even guys can have a bad ending on there. So, if you run into too many bad endings, you're going to be in very poor shape for the final final um, chapters. But, I'm more or less trying to figure out some special stuff to try and do. Because, again, 2,500 subscribers is a lot. Some of the views on my channel's videos have gotten to five, even six digits, and that is just amazing. I honestly, I'm still in a bit of disbelief over that because it's, it's incredible. It truly is, and I can't thank you guys enough for that stuff, so. That's why I try to do these little milestone things, because um, it's more or less my way of saying thank you to you guys. There's been a few milestones I've even done where I've even revealed a bit of stuff about myself, like, like, more or less just some, some things that I've been into, and then some things where, like, most people just know me as DFD. One of the earlier milestone videos actually revealed my real name, but, um, but it's just... Honestly, it's just hard to find ways to thank people for this type of stuff, and I just, I kind of do what just feels natural, more or less. So, I apologize if it doesn't feel like too much of a thank you, but I am indeed trying to thank people for this, because without you guys, this channel wouldn't have gotten to be so much. And that's honestly how I have to put things, like, no YouTube channel grows on its own. 
And I have to thank you guys for that. I really do. But, anyways, that's all for this video. Just something I wanted to put up because I'm um, getting kind of close to that milestone. The last I checked, it's at least 2,400. So, it's not too far off. And I do seem to be getting new subscribers, like, I can't necessarily say daily, but weekly at least. So, there's that. And also, you guys have noticed I do have ads on a lot of different videos. I, I don't really make that much money, believe it or not, because... It's based on views, it's based on if anybody, anybody skips ads, because if you skip an ad, I'm not getting anything for that, so. But, um, it's, it's not something I'm trying to make into an actual job, but it's still something that I'm taking more and more seriously the more people get into it, because I never thought it would have grown this much. I thought it would have stayed in the hundreds, if that, but it's grown to the thousands, and it's looking like it might even hit tens of thousands eventually so who knows but again thank you guys in advance for this i'm going to try and do something special for 2500 two things in fact if it, they go as planned and if anybody has any ideas on how to set up like different types of um, streaming things and all that let me know in the comments i would love to hear about that because i I have no clue how to do anything else out of streaming on Discord. So, um, yeah, I'm still learning myself, guys. But, anyways, that's all for this. More, more will definitely come soon because, again, it's pretty close. And either way, I th I'm going to try and put out that prototype of the one um, area that I'm coming up, up, up with on the game I'm designing. So, there's that. That's going to be something that anybody can just download and play. So, I will try to do it for all the major, um, all the major PC systems. Trying to do that for phone is going to be costly because they're going to charge me for that. And I rather would do that with the finished product because, again, I'm trying to do this game for free. The game I'm trying to making is, I'm trying to have it free. Entirely just free. Like, you don't have to pay for crap. So... That said, I'd rather just wait till the finished thing for anybody that wants to play it on mobile. Because our RPG Maker lets you do that. But, um, speaking of which, too, one last thing. If anybody's curious in the RPG Maker, I can actually refer you to somebody that, um... He's done some stuff with my game, and I've also been on his videos and, and whatnot. Just, more or less, just commenting on his videos. But, um, his name is Brancliff. I can send you over to his channel because um he's currently doing rpg maker um tutorials and the timing's perfect i've heard it's been on sale so if anybody wanted to buy rpg maker you can do that i personally bought it i've bought some dlc i've also found some free assets to use for it as well so it's really good trust me if you want to make your own games and all that rpg maker is one of the easier ways to do it unity would probably be another one but i don't know anything about that you really have to learn how to code with unity and do 3D stuff. But his channel, Brancliff, he's currently doing videos where he does um basically tutorials on how to do RPG Maker. And he does break them break them down pretty well too. So check those out. I think he's done three videos so far. He may have put a fourth one up. I don't know just yet. I haven't checked. But just give those a watch if you're curious on how to do RPG Maker. It's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. And I'm sorry that it's taking so long to even do this game. But I'm doing it on my own. So there isn't too much to expect. I'm creating my own music and all that. But anyways. I'm going to have a prototype of. of Well another prototype of the game I'm designing. Which has had setbacks before. So. But I am fixing out as much as I can find on the game. And trying to balance things accordingly. And I'm trying to make it very story-driven, like more than a normal RPG, but you'll see that as you see developments on it. But anyways, that's all for this. More of this will definitely come soon, and again, I cannot thank you enough for how many people subscribed or watched my videos, so. Again, thank you so very much for that. But anyways, that's all for now, guys. More will come soon, and take care.